What's up, people? It's been a while. It's the Asian Video Gamer here again. Uh, today, we're going to do a live commentary. Something I've never done before. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to do some PvP with a build that I'm working on currently. Um, as you can see, I'm already here at the Undead Purgatory. So first, let's look at my stats. I am a level 200. I've been playing this character for too much, you know, up leveled him up too much. But all this stat doesn't really matter. You know why? Because the weapon that I'm using is this. It's the raw blue moon great sword plus 10. So basically, most of my stat don't really matter and the only range I'm really using is my great fireball so um, yeah that's gonna be the <laughs> PvP type I'm gonna be like a banwar roleplay game I guess <clears throat> it wasn't supposed to be but when I I got really frustrated playing the arena for some reason because of lag and shit like that happening all night. And then I pulled this, like I, I realized I have this weapon and it's like, oh, I don't see this weapon ever being used because it's, it's crap. But once I infused it with raw, for some reason this weapon just kicked ass. Um, <clears throat> I could be completely wrong. You can see me get face rolled in every match here, but I think I can do pretty well. And I apologize ahead of time if I don't, if I stop talking because I really, <laughs> I really suck at live commentary because a lot of time I need to concentrate and, you know, play this game at the same time. Okay, let's see if this guy wants to bow. Yes, he wants to wave. That's good enough. Okay, let's go. This guy's a full Havel. I'm gonna give him a swing. Let him know my territory. Okay, so he's gonna do that, eh? Okay, he's a one swing person. So my thinking is... Okay, I can't trade with them. But... He has no stamina after three hits. Oh shit, he has fat rolls. That's interesting. He has a fat roll. Oh shit. One thing I hate about this game is the uh... It's the hit detection on this game. Like, I'm nowhere near the sword. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> you gotta give him props, man. He's using a slower weapon than he beat me. You know. That was a good match. But as you can see, like, my weapon isn't doing that bad like the damage it does is actually quite amazing considering he was wearing full havels this weapon still dealt pretty significant damage and the poise brick was pretty good too two swings to brick his poise um, not very good at analyzing stats and stuff like that I play more by instinct Rather than, you know, by whatever. But that wasn't that terrible of a match. But I have to say, I should be able to win. Nowadays, I see a lot of people pulling out, like, you know, the S-Stock. The, uh, the Ice Rapier. And I think the new favorite is the King's Sword or something. The one with the, <clears throat> the Spinning Blade. 
Yeah, I really hate those weapons right now because because they're so good. The thrusting attacks. I have to say I'm not really familiar familiar with those weapons and how they work. Okay, this guy's buffing his axe, which is cool. He gave me a wave. I gave him a wave. Let's start. Poke. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a easily par parryable thing. Scouting each other out. This guy has... Beat him on that. There you go, parry. Uh, the parry damage is not that bad, but you know. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. So yeah, I'm gonna trade you for that and give you a bow. Whoops, bow. Bow. So yeah, um, this build is pretty fun. <laughs> Mine's simply very simplistic, very easy, but actually surprisingly very fun. It's all about the reads, it's all about, you know, the range and stuff like that. Problem with my style of play is that I get caught by phantom hits a lot. The phantom hitbox. I get caught up with that because I play with instinct. I sort of see the projectile coming in at me, but I don't I don't think about like the hitbox. I don't think in terms of hitbox. I see what I see in the screen and I dodge accordingly. And whenever it hits me, even though it's nowhere near me, it just frustrates me a lot. That's the problem with this game, but I don't know if they added this in because of certain weapons balance, I guess. I mean, without those, I guess maybe the balance might be off. But it still kind of pisses me off when I get hit, like by jumping attacks, when I, I see myself rolled completely away from it, it still hit me. Like... It just, it just breaks my emergence in the game. And we are going to fight another one. I'm going to just do another couple more. I don't want to very, oh. This, might, this one might not count because I hate fighting on the bridge. Like with this build, I can't, I can't strife around, I can't do anything. And this guy has a long freaking sword with, you know, shit happening. Oh, he's, he has a whip and he has a long sword. I'm fucking done. Oh god, what the hell? Okay. Oh shit. Okay. I wonder if I can parry that. Oh, I can. Sweet. Now, to finish. No. Oh, God. Thank you. That was a good fight. See, it's all about the reads, people. It's all about the reads. When you can read it, you can parry it. And to be honest, I have not been parrying anybody before I did this video. I've just been walking around and counter hitting people. I have not been able to parry anybody. And <laughs> right off the bat, you guys saw like two, two parries. I'm not that good at this game, guys. I'm not. I'm very not good at this game. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Two parries in a row. What's up, guy? Zara! Zara! 
The clothing store. Let's see what you've got. Oh god, I see something purple. Is he using the halberd? He's using the halberd. I've never seen the halberd before. I mean, like, never seen it being used before. That's an interesting weapon. Nobody. Oh, shit. He rolls all of them. Nice. Wow, that counter damage, man. 957? Really? Dude, that's crazy. Did I, did I see that wrong or... Uh, may, maybe it's adding my jump attack as well. Ugh. So far, 3 out of f 3 out of 4 duels, not bad. Maybe I'll do up to 10. If I'm lucky enough to get 10. Or maybe this is going to be the last one. This is probably going to be the last one. Because I hear my wife coming back. This is probably going to be the last one. Well, 50 above 50% if I lose this one. So, not bad in in terms of my number. This build is pretty good. <laughs> Okay, last fight. Who is it? Goku. Oh, I, I, I played this guy before. This guy's like a bare-fisted person doing a Goku build. Dragon Ball build. A fighter build. Okay, I know how he fights. Give him a duel. Give him a bow. See, he's like going all Super Saiyan on me now. Let's go. Come on, let's go Super Saiyan. I'm Trunks. I'm Trunks, baby. Oh god, is it lagging? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna block him. Yo, what's going on? Oh, he got me. Shit, I might lose this one. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. And I'm not hitting him. Whoa, that dragon punch. Now he's bringing out the claws. And I have no idea where he is. Did he hit me or did I hit him? I feel like he's lagging too, because, yeah. Okay, now he's bringing out the whip. Come on, Goku doesn't use whip. Nor does he use claws, I guess. Boom! Oh god, my back exposed. Too bad, deals nothing. Now he's going to try to whip me. Yeah. Just gotta ho 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 Good duel guy to go to Good duel Whew. That was close Yeah, that's another problem. Like you, you fight people like across the continents, and you have no idea what happens. So four out of five, not bad. Well, I'll see if I can convert this to a new, uh, a real build later on. See you guys later. Toodles.